California also had a really, really good election night. Two things happen in California that are worth us mentioning. The first one is they voted for Proposition 36. So this is going to increase penalties for certain crimes. Basically, this is going to reverse what Proposition 47 did years ago. Proposition 47 is that infamous proposition that decriminalized shoplifting and all of those things which many people attribute to all of the looting and shoplifting you see all up and down California because there are no penalties. So voters of California, a 70% margin voted in favor of Proposition 36, increasing penalties for certain crimes like the one I just mentioned. Also, Los Angeles County voted to oust their soft on crime rogue district attorney, George Gascon. So he is one of the soft on crime DAs that many people talk about, much like they have in New York, much like they have in Chicago. And many people say that his policies are responsible for the increased crime that we've seen in Los Angeles the past few years. His first day in office, December of 2020, he sent out a list of like 20 or 30 directives, basically directing people that no matter what, we are not going to be penalizing these particular crimes. So um, you can see that the voters got rid of George Gascon and voted in this guy. What is his name? Hokeman. Okay, here he is. Here's a clip of him. Job, but I am absolutely energized by the fact that I've got over 750 prosecutors who are ready to get to work. I've got tens of thousands of law enforcement officers who will no longer say my hands are tied because we're going to go ahead and say, look, bring us those cases beyond a reasonable doubt. You know, they, they, a jury will convict him with legally admissible evidence and we will give every case a fair shot. So I am totally energized to get to work because we got a big hole to dig out of, but we have absolutely every tool we need to do it. He's already vowing, obviously, to stay too, true to criminal justice reform. That's what Gascon ran on. That's why he got elected. I just don't think anyone thought that Gascon was going to be as radical as he was. So he has uh, vowed to stay true to criminal justice reform, but also increase penalties and also make sure that he's prosecuting violent crime and things like that. And it wasn't mentioned in that video clip, but those 750 prosecutors that he's going to be in charge with, they actually endorsed him and they didn't endorse their old boss who was running against him. So that should tell you anything. Hopefully this helps um, increase safety and lessen crime in California. 